tonight in honor of the 50th anniversary of Virginia Highlands Community College, we proudly honor 50 outstanding alumni. They include educators, public servants, engineers, technicians, and entrepreneurs. They run small businesses and large corporations, provide financial advice, protect our communities, and preserve our freedom. They care for the sick, both human and animal, entertain us with their talents, coach football's gifted athletes, and keep the economy vibrant. Some are now retired, and some have just begun promising careers. Timothy C. Anderson a native of Smith County, Tim graduated from VHCC's nursing program in 1986 and also holds a bachelor's degree from Old Dominion and a master's degree from Virginia Tech. He is a registered nurse and a certified executive in nursing practice who now serves as vice president of patient care services and chief nursing officer at Bristol Regional Medical Center. Tim and his wife, Valerie, have three children and three grandchildren. Denise Asbury. Denise joined King University in 2011 as Director of Annual Giving and now serves as the university's Chief Fundraising Officer in her current role as Acting Vice President for Development. She is a 1984 graduate of VHCC's General Studies program and also holds a Bachelor's from Emory & Henry College and a Certificate in Fundraising Management from the Lilly School of Philanthropy. She and her husband, Alan, recently celebrated their 28th wedding anniversary and have two children. Barbara Beetleman. Barbara has dedicated her career to public service and retired from her job as team teacher for Bristol, Virginia Public Schools. She earned an associate's degree in education from VHCC in 1972 and has also earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Intermont and a master's from Grand Canyon University. Barbara has been a member of New Hope Baptist Church for 72 years, longer than any other member. She has four children, all of whom are college graduates, five grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. Doug Blevins. From his motorized wheelchair, Doug Blevins gained notoriety as the NFL's first handicapped coach when he joined the New York Jets in 1994 and later served as kicking coach for the Miami Dolphins. He also has provided private coaching services for some of professional football's best through his private coaching business. Doug is a 1985 graduate of VHCC's Administration of Justice program and later studied criminal justice at East Tennessee State. He was nominated for the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2013 and named to the American Association of Community Colleges Outstanding Alumni in 2014. Laura Blevins, a 1984 graduate of VHCC's General Studies program, Laura also holds a bachelor's degree from George Mason University and a graduate certificate from Virginia Tech. She is currently pursuing a master's degree in political science from Virginia Tech. Laura enjoyed a distinguished career as an aide for Congressman Rick Boucher, rising to the rank of Deputy Chief of Staff from 2007 to 2011 and now serves as Regional Director for U.S. Senator Tim Kaine. Laura and her father, the late Gene Lee, were classmates at VHCC. She and her husband, Rick, live in Abingdon. Captain Philip L. Blevins. Captain Blevins serves the United States Air Force as Assistant Staff Judge Advocate for the 509th Bomb Wing at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. He began his education at VHCC, earning degrees in both education and general studies in 2011, and later earned a bachelor's degree from UVA Wise and a law degree from the Appalachian School of Law. He has a long list of military training and has earned the National Defense Service Medal, the Air Force Training Ribbon, and the Global War on Terror Ribbon for his service to our country. Captain Blevins is married to Katie Jo, who works as an elementary school teacher. David Branson. 
David enjoyed a long career in the manufacturing housing industry, serving as regional manager for Fleetwood Homes before starting his own company, Turnkey Homes. He is now retired and spends his time working on his Kingsport farm. He is a 1980 graduate of VHCC's accounting program and also has a Class A contractor's license and a manufacturing housing, dealer, and installer license. He has been a Gideon for 25 years and also calls himself a literature evangelist, which means he puts readable books in the hands of children. David and his wife Becky have one son, Bill Brooks. Bill enjoyed a 33-year career with IBM in offices located in Kingsport, Atlanta, Memphis, and Nashville. He held various jobs within the company before being named Vice President of the Mid-Atlantic Region. He retired last year and lives in Nashville with his wife Dana, who was also his high school sweetheart and a classmate at VHCC. Bill has been an active volunteer with the United Way, American Cancer Society, his church, and a program that serves adoptive and foster care families in his community. He is a 1981 graduate of VHCC's Business Administration Program and also holds a bachelor's degree from Emory & Henry College. Senator Bill Carrico Sr. A native of Marion and a graduate of Chilhowee High School, Senator Charles W. Bill Carrico Sr. studied drafting at VHCC in the early 1980s, then attended the Virginia State Police Academy. He joined the Virginia State Police, rising to the rank of senior trooper and general instructor at the VSP Academy before retiring with 15 years of service. He served five terms in the Virginia House of Delegates and is now in his second term in the Virginia Senate, representing more than 200,000 residents of the 40th District. Senator Carrico was honored with the VHCC Distinguished Service Award in 2014. He and his wife Paula have two children. Dr. Dennis Carter a lifelong educator in Smith County Schools, Dr. Carter began his career as a special education instructional assistant. He has been repeatedly promoted through the ranks and in January was named superintendent of Smith County Schools. He completed two years of study at VHCC, then transferred to Emory & Henry College in 1993. After completing his bachelor's degree, he earned a special education certificate from UVA a master's from Radford, and a doctorate degree from Virginia Tech. He and his wife Amy, who also has dedicated her career to Smith County Schools, have two children. Dr. Timothy Collins. A Southwest Virginia native, Dr. Collins attended high school in Saltville and received a certificate in religious studies from Tomlinson College before enrolling at VHCC. He graduated from VHCC in 1988 with an associate's degree in general studies and also holds degrees from Radford and the Medical College of Virginia. Dr. Collins now has a pediatric dental practice in Abingdon and when not serving his young patients, enjoys playing music and working on the family farm. He and his wife Anna, who is also a graduate of VHCC, have four children. Ryan Comer Ryan got a jump start on his college education through the dual enrollment program at VHCC, earning 55 college credits before he graduated from Northwood High School. He earned a bachelor's degree in English from George Mason University in 2011 and a law degree from the University of Virginia in 2015. He has worked as a law clerk for the U.S. District Courts in Virginia and New York and will soon join a Washington, D.C. law firm. Ryan married his high school sweetheart, Taylor, last year. Kevin Crutchfield. A 30-year veteran of the coal industry, Kevin held various positions with Alpha Natural Resources, including Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, from May 2012 to July 2016. He is now Chief Executive Officer for Kentura Energy, Incorporated, a private Tennessee-based company with affiliate mining operations across multiple major coal basins in Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Kevin is a 1983 graduate of VHCC's science program. He holds a bachelor's degree from Virginia Tech and is a graduate of the executive program of the University of Virginia's Colgate Darden School of Business. Captain Jamie Davis. 
A resident of Glade Spring, Jamie graduated from VHCC's General Studies program in 1994, then continued his education at St. Leo University, earning both bachelor's and master's degrees. He is also a graduate of the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries Law Enforcement Academy and has a long list of specialized emergency training. He served many years as a Virginia Conservation Police Sergeant, but was promoted last week to his current rank of Captain, Region 3 Conservation Police Law Enforcement Manager. In that role, he oversees 18 counties of Southwest Virginia, from Montgomery to Lee Counties. Captain Davis and his wife Wendy have one daughter. Lori Deal Following her graduation from VHCC's Administrative Support Technology Program in 2006, Lori earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Intermont and an MBA from King University. She previously served as Smith County's Director of Community and Economic Development, but left that position earlier this year to accept a part-time position with the Mount Rogers Planning District Commission. This job allows her to work from home and spend more time with her newborn. Lori was awarded the VHCC Rising Star Alumni Award in 2015 and has been recognized as a Business Journal 40 Under 40 Rising Star in Business. She and her husband Ray are proud parents of four-month-old Anna Grace. Al Dunkelman Al was 36 when his friend and mentor Roy Ogle picked him up in Bristol, drove him to Virginia Highlands, and got him enrolled in classes. An event that Al now considers one of the best things that ever happened to him. He graduated from the liberal arts program in 1996 and later earned both bachelor's and master's degrees. Since 2002, he has served as discipline coordinator and sociology instructor at Cleveland Community College. Al and his wife Karen live in Shelby, North Carolina. The Grunstra family. For these eight siblings, Lydia, Katie, Cliff, Jonathan, Timothy, Rachel, Grace, and Isaac, VHCC is a family tradition. Lydia is now taking a history course on campus while finishing high school, and Katie is pursuing a degree in art education. Their older brothers and sisters are all VHCC graduates. Cliff also holds a bachelor's degree in business and an MBA from Virginia Tech, and now works as Chief Marketing Officer for Delmarva Central Railroad in Delaware. He and his wife Sarah have three children. Jonathan earned a bachelor's degree in biology from Virginia Tech and is now Clinical Research Coordinator for PMG Research in Bristol. He and his wife Whitley have two sons. Timothy holds a bachelor's degree in public policy and community service from Emory and Henry College and now works for Solid Rock Outdoor Ministries in Laramie, Wyoming. He and his wife, Jamie, were married this summer. Rachel earned a bachelor's degree in biology from Virginia Tech and now lives in Jupiter, Florida with her husband and their newborn, Maya. She is now teaching music and voice classes. Grace earned a bachelor's degree in meteorology and geography from Virginia Tech. She is completing a mission trip in Columbia and will soon join her fiancé, who is attending dental school, in Minneapolis. Isaac is currently enrolled in the mechanical engineering program at Virginia Tech. He plans to pursue an MBA after he finishes his engineering degree. They are the children of Ruth and Dr. Bernard Grunstra of Bristol. Kelly D. Haynes. Kelly earned an associate's degree from VHCC in general studies in 2001 and a certificate in American Sign Language in 2002. She holds a bachelor's degree from Radford University and is licensed by the Commonwealth of Virginia as a hearing instrument specialist. She currently works for Fall Plaza Hearing Center in Abingdon. Kelly lives in Saltville, where she enjoys volunteering in local and general elections and serves as an officer of elections for Smith County. Dr. Tabitha Henderson Tabitha enrolled in the inaugural nursing class at VHCC in 1972 and was a member of the program's first graduating class in 1974. She earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Commonwealth University, a doctor of medicine degree from the Medical College of Virginia, and later completed an internship in pediatrics and a residency in dermatology. 
She is also board certified by the American Board of Dermatology and operated a dermatology practice in Florida until her retirement in 2014. She returned to the region in 2015 and now volunteers for the Museum of the Middle Appalachians in Saltville and Town Square for the Arts in Glade Spring, where she is a resident artist of pottery and ceramics. George Holly. George enrolled in evening classes at VHCC and earned a diploma in air conditioning, refrigeration and heating, and a certificate in refrigeration in 1997. He currently serves as the Divisional Refrigeration Manager for Food City, overseeing refrigeration services at 60 Food City stores throughout the region. In the community, he is an active member and youth leader for Joy Baptist Church in Glade Spring. George has four children, including a daughter who is currently enrolled in the nursing program at VHCC. He enjoys playing golf and spending time with his children and wife, Victoria. Jeremy Honegger Jeremy is a 2001 graduate of VHCC's Business Administration program and holds a bachelor's degree from Emory & Henry College. In 2006, he became certified as a professional in human resources. He joined Northrop Grumman 11 years ago as a talent acquisition business partner. In that role, he supports Northrop Grumman's aerospace sector and other manufacturing efforts in Palmdale, California and Edwards Air Force Base. He is in his second season as president of the Abingdon Youth Football League and is a board member for Abingdon Little League Baseball. Jeremy and his wife Nikki have two children. Lieutenant Tanya Brooks Hunt Lieutenant Hunt earned an associate's degree in administration of justice from VHCC in 1985, then continued her education at East Tennessee State University. She is also a graduate of the Northwestern School of Staff and Command and the Tennessee Government Management Institute. She now works for the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security's Nashville District of the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Lieutenant Hunt enjoys traveling and to date has visited 48 states. She has one son who is also a Tennessee State Trooper. Dr. Shane Hutton Dr. Hutton was a member of the Student Government Association while enrolled at VHCC and was chosen by campus leaders to serve as the commencement speaker when he earned his associate's degrees in business administration, education, and general studies in 2005. He also has both bachelor's and master's degrees from Virginia Tech, as well as master's and doctorate degrees from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He is a member of numerous honor societies and was presented with the VHCC Rising Star Alumni Award in 2013. Dr. Hutton accepted his current position as a lecturer at Vanderbilt University in 2015. Tammy Jackson after earning an associate degree in Administration of Justice from VHCC in 1986, Tammy earned a bachelor's degree from Radford University. She immediately joined her mother in the family business, Jerry B. Peters Sales, and has remained there for the past 29 years. She and her sister Kim purchased the business from their parents in 2001 and are now co-owners. Tammy and her husband Ronnie have been married for 28 years. They live in Kingsport and are active members of Christ Fellowship Church and enjoy spending time with their two children at South Holston Lake. Chad Keen, A lifelong resident of Bristol, Chad earned a degree in business administration in 1984 and later completed a bachelor's degree at King University. He began his career with a family-owned business, Specialty Manufacturers, and worked there for 14 years before starting his own business, Keen Promotions. He was elected to the Bristol, Tennessee City Council in 2013 and has served the city as councilman, vice mayor, and mayor. Earlier this year, he was named a VHCC Distinguished Alumni. Chad and his wife Kathy, who also attended VHCC, have three children. Andrew Christofek II Andy enrolled at VHCC in 1970 after narrowly escaping the military draft, but left a short time later to join the U.S. Air Force. When his service was up, he returned to campus, graduating from the Administration of Justice program in 1978, and later completing a bachelor's degree from Virginia Intermont. 
He is also a graduate of the FBI National Academy, the Virginia Forensic Science Academy, and several other law enforcement training programs. He enjoyed a distinguished career with the Bristol, Virginia Police Department and worked his way up the ranks to captain of the Criminal Investigations Division, a position he held from 2000 until his retirement in 2008. Andy and his wife Linda live in Bristol and have one son. David Lee a graduate of Smith County's R.B. Worthy High School, David earned an associate's degree in business management in 1977, then continued his education at Emory & Henry College and Virginia Intermont. He has worked at a number of banks throughout his career and now serves as collection manager for United Southeast Federal Credit Union. David has returned to campus over the years as a member of the Alumni Association Board and Multicultural Advisory Committee, and is currently a member of Sullivan Central's football sideline chain gang. He enjoys time spent with his wife, Debbie, as well as their son, daughter-in-law, and two grandchildren. Richard Lee a native of Northern Virginia, Richard appeared in several theater productions at VHCC and the Barter Theater while pursuing an associate's degree in theater arts. Following his graduation from VHCC in 1973, he earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Commonwealth University and then headed to Nashville. To date, his writings have sold in excess of 70 million records and earned him country music's highest acclaim, including three Grammy nominations, a Grammy Award, a Country Music Association Award, and a Song of the Century Award. He was inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1994 and honored in 2011 with an Outstanding Alumni Award from the American Association of Community Colleges. Richard currently lives in Clarksville, Tennessee and returns to campus each spring for the Richard Lee Songwriters Festival, a celebration of song that benefits a VHCC program for foster youth enrolled on our campus. Dr. Gary Lilly. After earning a degree in business administration from VHCC in 1989, Dr. Lilly continued his education at Emory & Henry College and ETSU. He has enjoyed a distinguished career with Bristol, Tennessee City Schools, working his way up from classroom teacher to his current role as director of schools. He was recognized as one of the top 30 technologists, transformers, and trailblazers by the Center for Digital Education in 2015 and named a VHCC Distinguished Alumni in 2016. Dr. Lilly and his wife Tracy have two children. Dr. Beth Litz Dr. Litz attended VHCC from 1987 to 1989 on a Westinghouse scholarship and worked on campus as a peer tutor for Project Excel. She later earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Tech and both master's and doctorate degrees from East Tennessee State University. She enjoyed a distinguished 21-year career as an educator in Washington County before accepting a job with the Tennessee Department of Education in 2013. Today, she lives in Ulua, Tennessee, and works as an assistant principal. Dr. Litz is a former member of the VHCC Alumni Board. She and her husband, Steve, who is also an alumnus of VHCC, have two sons. Justin Lopez. Justin began his college education at VHCC by taking business courses for two years before transferring to Virginia Tech in 2013. He earned a bachelor's degree and also has successfully completed the Uniform Investment Advisor Law Exam. He is currently furthering his education through the College for Financial Planning, where he is enrolled in a certified financial planning course. He joined Lopez Wealth Management in 2015 and currently works there as a wealth advisor and retirement planning specialist. When not helping community members plan their financial future, Justin enjoys hunting and fishing, spending time with his family, and attending Woodland Hills Christian Church. Catherine Castle Lowe. An Abingdon native, Kathy is a licensed cosmetologist who operated a downtown business for many years before enrolling at VHCC. She earned an associate's degree and a career study certificate in business-related fields and later earned a bachelor's degree from Emory & Henry College. Kathy was elected to the Abingdon Town Council in 2006 and has twice been re-elected. 
She currently serves as Abingdon's mayor and is employed as the executive director of the Virginia Highlands Small Business Incubator. She is a VHCC Community Ambassador and a 2017 VHCC Distinguished Alumni. She and her husband Stephen live in Abingdon. Adam Martin a graduate of Abingdon High School, Adam earned an associate's degree in engineering from VHCC in 2012, then completed a bachelor's in aerospace engineering from Virginia Tech. He is Lean Six Sigma Black Belt certified. Adam began his career at Bell Helicopter and worked there just over a year before taking a position at TUG Technologies, where he serves as quality and continuous improvement manager. He and his girlfriend, Laura Couch, live in Atlanta and enjoy playing with their dog, Pebbles. His mother, Kathy, is also a graduate of VHCC. Philip Martin. After completing a number of general education courses at VHCC, Philip transferred to King University in 2003. He earned a bachelor's degree in nursing from King and a master's degree in nurse anesthesia from Virginia Commonwealth University. He has enjoyed a distinguished career in healthcare at Bristol Regional Medical Center and is now a certified nurse anesthetist. He also serves as an adjunct faculty member at VCU and in that role is the student coordinator at BRMC. He and his wife Lisa have been married 26 years and have two children. Both Lisa and their daughter Erin are graduates of the VHCC nursing program. Their son Seth is a senior at Holston High School and plans to attend VHCC. Sephora McGall After graduating from VHCC's Administrative Support Technology program in 2014, Sephora earned bachelor's degrees in both criminal justice and homeland security and emergency preparedness. She also holds a graduate certificate and master's degree in Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness and is currently pursuing a paralegal certificate at George Mason University. Sephora currently works as an undergraduate academic advisor at VCU and recently began a cybersecurity internship with Virginia's Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security Resilience Group. Tracy Orfield after serving as a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division, Tracy began flying as an aeroscout pilot for the U.S. Army and then as a combat rescue pilot for the U.S. Air Force. He moved back to Abingdon following his retirement from the military and currently manages operations at 10 helicopter ambulance bases and a maintenance facility in West Virginia, Eastern Kentucky, and Southeastern Ohio. He graduated from VHCC's Electronic Technology Program in 1989, then earned a bachelor's degree from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. He lives in Abingdon with his wife of 30 years, Christy. They have four children, a grandson, and two grandchildren on the way. Dr. Keith Perigen Dr. Perigen enrolled at VHCC in 1991, then transferred to the University of Virginia's College at Wise, where he earned a bachelor's degree in history. He also holds a master's degree from Radford University and a doctorate from Virginia Tech. He began his career in education as a teacher in Washington County before moving into administrative roles. He was named superintendent of Norton City Schools in 2014 and served in that capacity until being selected as superintendent of Bristol City Schools earlier this year. He was formerly a licensed professional wrestler and a participant with the Army Golden Knights jump team. Both his wife Amy and mother Lois are graduates of VHCC. Jim Quisenberry after graduating from VHCC's education program in 1987, Jim earned bachelor's degrees from Radford University and East Tennessee State University. He returned to VHCC to earn an associate's degree in business administration in 1999 and later earned a master's from Virginia Commonwealth University. From 1994 to 1998, he served in the U.S. Army, first with the 2nd Infantry Division in South Korea, and then the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg. He has worked for the court-appointed Special Advocates Program of the 28th Judicial District as a contributing writer for the Washington County News and as an adjunct instructor at VHCC. He currently works as an assessment specialist and foster parent trainer for Holston Family Services. He and his wife Jessica have four furry children. Jamie Rector Jr. 
Jamie began his career at Dana Corporation in Bristol and later taught drafting and design at VHCC as an adjunct instructor. He now oversees marketing for Bristol, Virginia Utilities. In addition to an associate's degree from VHCC, he holds a bachelor's degree from East Tennessee State University. In the community, Jamie currently serves on the VHCC board and is a past member of the VHCC Educational Foundation Board. In his spare time, Jamie enjoys collecting antique cars and is past president and a current board member of the Antique Automobile Club of America. He and his wife, Lauren Griffin Rector, own a real estate firm in Bristol, which he helps with in the evenings and on the weekends. Gary Ritchie Gary graduated from VHCC in 1985 with an associate's degree in science. He later earned a bachelor's degree from Emory & Henry and a master's degree from East Tennessee State University. Gary has dedicated his career to education, serving as a middle school teacher and principal, and now serves as an assistant superintendent for Bristol, Virginia Public Schools. Gary was honored in 2010 as the Outstanding Middle School Principal of Virginia by the Virginia Association of Secondary School Principals. He and his wife Susie have been married for 30 years and have two sons. In addition to his duties in public education, Gary serves as the pastor of One Way Ministries in Damascus. Dr. John Roberts, Jr. Dr. Roberts graduated with honors from VHCC's science program in 1981 and later earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Tech and a doctorate of veterinary medicine from Auburn University. He began his career at a mixed animal veterinary hospital, then returned to Abingdon to join Highlands Animal Hospital. He was instrumental in helping develop the practice and since 2010 has been the acting medical director. He has served the community as a member of the VHCC Foundation Board, Justin Foundation Board, 4-H Advisory Board, and coach of a traveling AAU basketball team. Additionally, he was commencement speaker at VHCC in 2005 and was awarded the VHCC Distinguished Alumni Award in 2014. Dr. Roberts met his wife, Reba Fulton Roberts, while they were enrolled at VHCC. They have two children, both of whom attended VHCC. Bill Rush Bill attended VHCC in the early 1980s, then transferred to Virginia Tech, where he earned a bachelor's degree. His early career included positions at Georgia Pacific and Barry Home Center before he joined the town of Marion in 2001 as town manager. Bill took a break from town government and started his own business, RESM Construction and Realtor, in 2007. He still owns and operates that company, but found time in 2013 to return to his previous role as Marion Town Manager. Bill is a former member of the VHCC board, most recently serving as chair. He and his wife Robin have four children and two granddaughters. They are expecting their third grandchild early next year. Eddie Shelton a native of Chilhowee, Eddie was drafted into the U.S. Army soon after high school and served our country for two years before returning to the region. He went to work for the U.S. Postal Service in 1970 and while continuing to work earned an associate's degree in business administration from VHCC in 1976. He later earned a bachelor's degree at Steed Business College. Eddie enjoyed a distinguished 30-year career with the Postal Service and served as Abingdon's postmaster for 17 years before retiring in 2001. Since his retirement, he has dedicated a majority of his time to his gospel music solo ministry. He also plays tuba for the orchestra at Euclid Avenue Baptist Church and the State Line Wind Symphony in Bristol. He and his wife Elaine were married in 1969 and have two children. Jim Swartz. Jim graduated from VHCC's Business Administration program in 1998, then earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Virginia's College at Wise. He worked at U.S. Gypsum Company for nearly 20 years before the facility closed, then joined Highlands Union Bank in 2001 as Vice President and Senior Credit Review Officer. He now holds a similar position with Powell Valley Bank. In the community, he has served the Washington County Chamber of Commerce, Mount Rogers Regional Planning District, the Smith Washington Regional Industrial Facilities Authority, the VHCC Board, and the VHCC Alumni Association Board.
Jim and his wife Jennifer live in Glade Spring and are active members of Glade Spring Baptist Church. Adam Tolbert Adam became one of the first members of the VHCC Upward Bound program when it was launched in 1999 and completed 26 credits through the dual enrollment program before he graduated from Northwood High School. He later earned a bachelor's degree at the University of Virginia's College at Wise and a master's at Liberty University. He currently works at the Southwest Virginia Higher Education Center as an IT systems engineer and also serves as chairman of both the Smith County Republican Committee and the 9th Congressional District Republican Committee of the Republican Party of Virginia. He received VHCC's first Rising Star Alumni Award in 2012. Tanya Triplett Tanya came to VHCC as an adult learner to upgrade her employment skills, and following her graduation from the Business Administration program in 2010, earned a bachelor's degree from King University. Tanya served as clerk for the town of Damascus, then joined the Abingdon Convention and Visitors Bureau as sales manager and director of visitor services. She also worked as deputy town clerk for the town of Abingdon for just over a year before taking her current position as Abingdon's Community Development Coordinator. Tanya and her husband Glenn live in Damascus and have two grown children, both of whom attended VHCC. Kim Warren Kim began her career at Wellmont's Bristol Regional Medical Center and later joined her family-owned business, Jerry B. Peters Sales Incorporated, as a sales representative. She and her sister Tammy purchased the business from their parents in 2001 and are now co-owners. Kim is married to Michael and has two children, both of whom took courses from VHCC through the dual enrollment program. In the community, she has served as vice president of the Virginia High School Athletic Boosters from 2013 through 2017 and chair of the VHS Football Moms for 2016 through 2017. Following her graduation from VHCC's business management program in 1984, Kim earned a bachelor's from Emory & Henry College in 1988. Sheriff Jack Weisenberger a longtime Bristol resident, Jack began his career with the Bristol, Virginia Sheriff's Office as a deputy in 1979. He worked in all aspects of the department before being elected sheriff in 2001. He is well known for his service to the community and has been named a Paul Harris Fellow, awarded the National Service to Youth Award by the Boys and Girls Club, and named a Law Enforcement Hero by the American Red Cross. He is also past president of the Virginia Sheriff's Institute and the Virginia Sheriff's Association, a member of Knights of Columbus, and a volunteer for Abuse Alternatives Domestic Violence Services. He earned an associate's degree in Administration of Justice from VHCC in 1978 and also holds a bachelor's degree from Bluefield College. He and his wife Janice enjoy spending time with their many nieces and nephews. Lynn White. During her 40-year career as a business teacher for Smith County Schools, Lynn received a number of prestigious awards, including the Smith County Chamber of Commerce Children's First Award, Virginia Outstanding Advisor from Future Business Leaders of America, and Teacher of the Year from the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 4667 in the 9th District of Virginia. She also co-authored a book honoring veterans of VFW Post 4667. Lynn began her education at VHCC in 1973, then transferred to Radford University to earn a bachelor's degree. Now retired, Lynn lives in Marion with Molly Grace, a five-pound Maltese, and continues to enjoy life with as many new adventures as possible. Anthony Wilson Following his 1981 graduation from VHCC's Electronic Technology program, Tony earned a bachelor's degree from Old Dominion University. He is also Lean Six Sigma certified and has completed numerous leadership development programs. He has enjoyed a long and distinguished career with Honeywell that has taken him to China and then Singapore, where he was responsible for global manufacturing operations and integrated supply chain for the $1.5 billion business entity. 
He recently returned to the U.S. and now serves as Honeywell's Vice President, Sourcing Chief Procurement Officer for Safety and Productivity Solutions. He and his wife Michelle live in Pennsylvania and have two children. Virginia Highlands Community College is proud to recognize these 50 outstanding alumni and congratulate them on their tremendous success. We look forward to continuing our long-standing tradition of excellence by enriching lives and strengthening our communities for the next 50 years.